Hello everyone, News 8 meteorologist Leanne Byer here and coming up tomorrow actually for Monday, August 19th, you may want to put your eyes to the sky, especially heading into the overnight hours into Tuesday because here in Rochester we'll get to experience, or actually everywhere, excuse me, across the United States, we'll be able to experience a super blue moon. So these don't happen quite often, I think usually does not happen that often but let's talk about some statistics that are associated with blue moons blue super moons that is so monday super moon is going to be closer to the earth than an average full moon so we never know precisely how far away the moon is from the earth and that's because the moon's orbit although it is usually in a pretty will say a pretty perfect circle it it wobbles sometimes and it also differs because of where the Sun and the earth are in their orbit so we never know specifically but for Monday's super moon is going to be two hundred and twenty four thousand nine hundred and seventeen miles away and so with we're talking about super moons super moons are essentially when the We'll say when the moon is closer, so when it's at its closest point to Earth rather than its furthest point. So supermoons can be up to 14% bigger. So maybe think about that in essentially is the difference between a nickel and a quarter. That is the best way to think about it. So it may not appear bigger to our eyes down on Earth, but it still may be a little bit bigger. So up to 14% bigger and 30% brighter. Now a lot of people get confused with blue term blue because it may they may think about it as the moon may reflect or maybe appear to their eye as blue and that's not necessarily the term so there's two different types of blue moons so the one that we're going to experience tomorrow is a seasonal blue moon and that's when it refers to the third full moon in the same season that has four full moons so essentially Usually the for the we usually for a season so like spring summer fall winter we usually have three full moons a month. Now the super blue moon or a blue moon I should say usually occurs when there's only when there's going to be a fourth one in a singular season, and then the other one is called a monthly blue moon, and that that happens more frequently about two to three years according to NASA, and that's when we get two full moons within the same month. So usually that happens where we get a full moon essentially, let's say on the first or the second day of a month. The moon's typical orbit is about 29.5 days long, so it's a little bit shorter than the average length of a calendar. So this happens when we get a super early, we'll say, full moon in the month. Then that leaves time for us to experience a second full moon. It can go through the whole orbit and cycle, and then we get to experience another one at the end of the month, hence a blue moon. So I hope you guys learned something new today. We're going to continue to uh, watch this, and I hope you guys are looking up to the skies for tomorrow. I know certainly I'm going to be. We have some clouds that we're going to deal with throughout the day tomorrow, but the looks of the models is that those are expected to clear out heading into the sunset hours, into the overnight hours. So happy hunting. Keep your eyes to the sky, and I hope you guys enjoy it.